Another grim milestone in the fight against COVID-19. The United States on Friday surpassed 700,000 coronavirus-related deaths, according to a Reuters tally. That toll was reached as officials have begun to roll out booster doses of vaccines to protect the elderly and people working in high-risk professions. A Reuters analysis of public health data showed that the country has reported an average of more than 2,000 deaths per day over the past week. While national hospitalization numbers have fallen in recent weeks, some states, particularly in the South, are bucking that trend to record big rises, putting pressure on health care systems. Vaccination rates in some parts of the Midwest and South are lagging those in the Northeast and parts of the West Coast. In New York, hospitals on Monday began firing or suspending health care workers for defying a state order to be vaccinated while a federal judge ruled in favor of an Ohio private health care provider that had mandated shots for its staff. In California, Governor Gavin Newsom announced Friday that his state will be the first to mandate statewide COVID-19 vaccinations for school children as early as January for eligible age groups. We intend to do that once the FDA has fully approved the vaccine, which will give us time to work with districts, give us time to work with parents, and educators uh, to build more trust and confidence and build out a logistics so that we can deliver on what we are promoting here today. The United States still leads the world in COVID-19 cases and deaths, accounting for 19% and 14% of all reported infections and fatalities, according to a Reuters tally.